and welcome back to Salty and Sweet. My name is Sarah. And my name is Hermes. And today we are going up north to Canada. Canada. Yes, my cousin Harley sent us a list of some snacks that we should try to find. And we reached out to this person on Etsy named Best Canadian Snacks, who sourced almost, I think, everything that we asked. So really amazing box that we received. This is, this is exciting. I only know maybe like two things here and maybe three, but I've never really had them. So I'm very excited about it. And before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And share with your family and friends. And with all that said, let's dig in. Yes. Cadbury, Mr. Big, uh, original, original. I know what I want. No, I want that's it not now. it. That's I Mr. Big. Because I'm Mr. Big. No, it's waiting on a line. Of waiting on that line. Just to be the next to be with you. We just lost a bunch of subscribers. Probably. <laughs> I can't think. Or Sarah's the next vocal sensation. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's try this. It's getting real hot in here. We probably should have put all of this in the fridge. Oh, it doesn't look too melty. Oh my goodness. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> I'm not going to say no. it. <laughs> So what is it? It looks like oh, great! It's Rice Krispies. Mm-hmm. Rice nougat Krispies and, and caramel chocolate. and chocolate. Rice Krispies, nougat, caramel, and chocolate. Okay. Okay. It's really <laughs> good. Oh, really good. It's a good candy bar. It has everything you want in a candy bar. It's a bit like airy and hollow though, because of the um Rice Krispies. Mm. Like, it, or it feels like it's hollow, but it's it's really good. I like this a lot. I think it's really really good. Wow. It's and pretty sweet. It is Does pretty it have big. Does wafer in it? Oh, so it actually has wafer and nougat, then coated in caramel, then coated in Rice Krispie chocolate. So many layers. This is like the onion of chocolates. I'm giving it a delicious. I'm giving it a dangerous. Okay. Fair enough. Friday. What the hell are you doing? Are you for dinner? We have arrow, which we had in England. We had mint arrow and now we've got chocolate arrow. Okay. I was wondering why this looks so familiar. So this is just regular plain chocolate? Yeah, but it's gonna have like bubbles. It'll be airy chocolate. Okay. And I'm gonna love it. I'll try it out. Cause I wasn't really a fan of the mint chocolate one. Oh, this is the one that looks like a butt? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. This is such good chocolate. Let's get a close up of this. Because... I have to make it correct. Oh, Look so at good. that butt. Look at his butt. It looks like a dope butt. I like big butts. I can't really. All right, here we go. It's really good chocolate. What is that face? That looks like a disappointed face. <sighs> Shut up. Arrows are delicious. No, it's good. Just compared to the Mr. Big. I like the simplicity of the arrow with the bubbles inside that just give it like a softer texture. I get the bubbles. <laughs> it was just all soft for me, but it's delicious. I like it. Delicious. Yeah. Arrow. So this is familiar. This is Ruffles All Dressed Asionais. I mean, familiar in that we have Ruffles, but I've never had All Dressed before. Have you? No. Um, I think it's like Italian dressing. Okay, well that sounds good because I like Italian dressing and it's vinegar, pepper, and onion. So check it out. Smell test. Ooh, very vinegary. You would not mm. like this. And they look like ruffles. I think these are really popular in Canada too. I don't think it's just like a, uh. Okay. Why don't we have this? This is pretty awesome. Oh, I love this. <laughs> The, the, the problem that I have with it, though, is that it's all air. There's not a lot of chips in it. I think it is really good, but it is a little bit too much vinegar for me. I really like it after that first vinegar flavor. The flavor of the seasoning is delicious, but that vinegar is a little too much for me. I'm still going to go like, decent delicious, though. I'd say delicious. Um, it's, you know, it's ruffles. Can't go wrong with that. What? Jolouis. L'original. The original. These look great. What is it? I think it's gonna be a snack cake. It looks like there's marshmallow inside. I don't know if it's marshmallow or cream filling, but mm. I love this artwork too. Yeah. It's retro looking. I love it. It's nice and simple, yeah. very clean. It's so cute. Okay, do you want to oh, share wow. one? 
There's like six of them. Yeah, we could share one. Okay, we're gonna share one. Oh, Steve, Steve wants, wants one. Yo. As we, as we. Film. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go with cream. Do you think it's gonna be marshmallow or cream? I think marshmallow. Okay. Let's uh, find out. The that, cream. Is it chocolate or is it red velvet? It looks like red velvet. Wow. It's pretty good. It's so soft. It is very soft. It's also crumbly. Mm. It looks like red velvet. Um, I love it. Now, is it cream? If it is red velvet, is it cream or is it... Um, I mean, red velvet is the just the... Cream cheese. Yeah, but it's not that kind. I love it because it's kind of like, you know, a, a yodel, but the cake is lighter. And I love that thin chocolate coating that's on these snack cakes. Like there's something about it that's different than other kind of chocolate. Yeah, this is delicious. It's delicious. I, I think I might go dangerous. Although I don't have to be dangerous on this one because Hermes is eating the entire thing himself. But you know. Yeah, I could go dangerous because it it's very light. And you could so keep stuffing good. it in your mouth. Smarties. <laughs> I had no idea these were Canadian. Well, I think that it's kind of one of those things that they make in a few countries. So, yeah, actually, we did get Canadian Kit Kats because we were going to be like, oh, it's just going to taste like regular Kit Kats, whatever. So we just ate it and we were like, crap, these were really good yeah. compared to the American Kit Kats. We're monsters. So, eat the Canadian Kit Kats. Way those better. Are really good. So maybe these are really good Smarties. I feel like they're going to be. And... I love Smarties because they're so little. I like them more than M and M's. Right? They're little, aren't they? Or are those just the uh, mini ones? They're about back? the size well, of no, M and M's. Those are the same size. Maybe I just got mini Smarties before. That's good. Thank you. The colors aren't as like awesome as M and M's though, but whatever. I have a thicker shell. Why do I think they had they had a thinner shell? Thicker shell is really good. It's super crunchy. Mm-hmm. And no the chocolate's one. good. Yeah. They're delicious. These are really good. These don't look anything like our Smarties. They, they don't, don't, right? Those little, they're coming the little plastic thing and those little chalky things. That's what So that's Smarties. what I was thinking no. it was. That was Smarties. Oh, but I've had these, but they're like, they have these kinds in England. And then they sell them here, but they're British Smarties. Right. But uh, what Steve is saying is that there are different Smarties, because that's what I thought these yeah. were going to be. The sour, oh, like, no. oh, those sour tablet are terrible. things. They're no. not those. These are M&M's times a thousand. These are yeah. really good. But the, the Smarties that Steve is talking about, like once again, are the chalky kind that you usually get in Halloween. <laughs> They're your least favorite one. Yeah, the least favorite one. It's like, it's like, here you go. I like Smarties. <laughs> I mean, I liked them as a kid because you thought that they changed colors, but really, it was just yeah, but darker. like compared to like all the other it awesome candy that you get, like Snicker bars or Milky Ways, you get a Smartie and you're like, <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you but still eat it, but these are good Smarties. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Leclerc cookies dot biscuits maple leaf fuel de rabel maple leaf. I already said that. <laughs> okay. I'm super excited to try these maple leaf cookies. I think they're sandwich cookies. And I've never had a maple cookie before. Me neither. Wow. Whoa, look at that. They're different than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. There's like stuff in the middle. Wow. What is that smell? It's maple. That's what maple smells like? Yes. Where have you been? <laughs> Not Canada. They're really cute little maple leaves. Oh, uh, my maple leaf broke, but... That's intense maple smell. Mm-hmm. They're really good. But they smell really strongly of maple. They taste oh, just like sugar. <laughs> yeah, they do really taste like sugar. It's kind of like butter cookies with sugar in the middle. But the smell is so strongly maple. It's so good. It reminds me of fall. Mm-hmm. No, these would be good in coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more. But I think... I love them. Really? I was super excited about these and I really love them. I don't know, I'm borderline decent or delicious here. What? I'm delicious or dangerous. I wanna know if people have certain ways that they eat these. You know, like everyone has like a way they eat the Oreo or you know, your M&M cookies, like to eat the M&Ms out or whatever. Huh. I think it's a little too sweet for me is all, but I mean, it's, it's good. It's quite sweet. All right, so Sarah eats snow with maple syrup on it. 
Yeah. yeah. She collects it from the outside. So she leaves a bowl, like, on the windowsill and collects dirty snow and no. eats them. No, I put the bowl out so that I'm not collecting the dirty snow off of the ground. It's always in yeah. my bowl. But it's still snow from the outside. The city snow. That city snow. We breathe that air in every day. Doesn't matter. Same thing. Okay, but besides that, you put maple syrup yeah. on it and eat it. So, I don't think this is just a me thing. So I need other people to come out and say that you do it too. But yeah, you collect snow and then you pour maple syrup on it and you eat it with a spoon. And I've been doing it since I was a kid. I'm, I think most people stop doing it as adults. I might be... <laughs> I might be one of the rare one of those, but I don't think I was the only kid that did that. My whole family did it. I don't think it's a weird thing. Your whole family lives in Connecticut, though, <laughs> where the air is clean. <laughs> yes, I did grow up in Connecticut where, you know, I grew up in the burbs. Yeah, but now you live in Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> okay, now we're going to have cheesies. Cheesies. Hawkins cheesies. It's an old school looking bag. Real Canadian cheddar cheese. Oh, let's see if it's better. Um, so this is kind of funny because the packaging kind of looks like those Sky Flakes uh, crackers, which I don't know what that is. You'll have some at some point. Where are they from? I don't know, actually. Maybe the Philippines, somewhere in Asia. Oh. I'm not sure. Does it smell like cheese? A couple. My, Whoa. This one's like huge. It is crunchy. Oh, it's very crunchy. So I don't know if it's crunchy because it's stale, mm -mm. or it's crunchy because mm. it's crunchy. It's really good cheese flavor. I don't know what it is, but like... <laughs> it's really good cheese flavor. <laughs> when we had the cheese balls, your cheese balls, <laughs> it was very salty. This tastes salty this too. This tastes really salty. Is it because we're having the sweets and then we're going to the salty? I don't know. I do really like these. I like how crunchy they are. I've never had a, a corn cheese corn chip of that type, that crunchy. It is very crunchy. I mean, I mean it's good. I just... I'm going delicious. I could go delicious, I guess. They're very snackable. I don't know. Maybe I'm too forgiving. I would say it's decent because it's just so salty. I'm so salty. We have Cadbury caramel. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this is a caramel milk chocolate. chocolate. Ooh, you could like cut them into little pieces and share with your fronds. Thank you. And I get the broken one. The mm. really smashed up one. You're the one who broke it. Really good chocolate. It's really think, good chocolate. I don't think Cadbury could go wrong really. This is really good. Caramel's really good. I love caramel. It's really good. I'm still going, I'm going to go decent just because, but caramel Caramel's chocolate my isn't my favorite. But I think if you love caramel, it's going to be amazing. It's really good chocolate yeah, and it, it tastes like good caramel. It is amazing. It's great. This is the greatest thing ever. Would it be Even good in ice cream? Even though I go cream? with delicious. Um, it is great with ice cream. I think this would be great with ice cream. Blend it in there. Put it in there. So, you know what? I'll go with delicious. Actually, no, sorry. I'd go with dangerous. You're excited for this. Yes, we have Coffee Crisp, and I forgot that we had this, and I'm super excited because I love it, and I haven't had it in a long time. Is that from Nestle? It is from Nestle. Nestle has a lot of chocolates in Canada, huh? Yeah. Um, my... Nestle's water's bad, by the way. Yeah. My... Just saying. My boss years ago was Canadian and when he would come back from Toronto he would always bring me coffee crisp and so that's, oh, so that's the why I've had crisp. it and I love it yeah okay mm -hmm. very good <laughs> cool story bro yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a giant wafer cookie mm -hmm. you know like a giant Kit Kat Mm -hmm. And it has layers of like coffee flavored sugar filling and then it's coated in chocolate. So it's a thin layer of chocolate coating it and then 
the rest of it is like what Sarah said. Wafers and in the center is like this coffee cream. <laughs> you know, just saying. Just saying. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. And my boss used to get me that whenever he would go to Toronto. <laughs> I love it. This is dangerous. I love these so much. You don't like coffee, though. No, I mean, I, I'd eat it sometimes. Like, I'd eat, like, coffee-flavored things sometimes, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a little too sweet for me. Okay. You can it's, go. it's delicious if you like coffee. What is it if you don't, though, Hermes? <laughs> then it's a decent... <laughs> Oh man, Cherry Blossom by Candy Franchise. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know, it says low key. It's low key. It has a really cute little cherry logo at the top, actually. <laughs> it's like a really like classic looking uh, packaging. Yeah. Very vintage-y. But the image that it has with the cherry is kind of gross, where it's just kind of like oozing out. And it's pretty heavy, by the way. Do you like maraschino cherries? I forget. Uh, here and there. I don't really like maraschino cherries. Okay, so it looks like it's. What are the flakes? I think it's gonna be in. I think it's gonna be like nuts. Well, but you know Toblerone. I do love Toblerones. Maybe it's gonna be like that. It's peanuts. Oh, it's peanuts. I lied. It's not. Is it spilling? Is it spilling? Oh, oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Oh no! It didn't focus. No, it's spilling everywhere. No! Wait, 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 wait! There it is. There it is. Okay, we got it. Okay, it's it, you gotta out. clean that up. I <laughs> clean that. Fred, can eat it. It's okay. No, I assure you. It's not my favorite. I actually don't mind it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna like it, but you also really like the cherry, right? I don't like a lot of the cherry flavored. I mean, I like fresh cherries, but I don't like cherry flavored things for some reason. I mean, the cherry flavor is like, also, it's there, but it's not as in your face. Are you sure that it is not coconut in the chocolate? Coconut. It's peanuts and coconut. Yeah. Um. It wasn't my favorite. I but don't know. I think it's delicious. <laughs> I'm going decent. Wow. Old Dutch ketchup. I've heard of Old Dutch. I have too. I think that maybe they carry it in like some of the northern states here. Ooh. It's just potato chips. Whoa, that is They're red. Really red. It sounds crispy. Mm-hmm. Smells like Those ketchup. Those potato chips. They really capture that ketchup flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly ketchup. <laughs> it tastes very ketchupy. They're pretty good. If you're a huge fan of ketchup, holy crap, eat this. Yeah. Like, it is really good. I would say this is actually delicious, but... I bet these are damn. great crumpled on top of hot dogs. Yeah, that'd be great. So or in a burger. In a burger. Wow. Damn. So, yeah. Very ketchupy. Almost, like, too strong, I think. And one it's more kind of vinegary. One, it's a little vinegary. I think I'm, I'm decent delicious. Well, I'm going delicious with this one. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Very light, very crispy. Tim Hortons, Cafe Mocha. Granola bars. Granola bars. I was like reading it over here. I was like, oh, it's in French. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looks kind of cool, I guess. I don't know, it's granola bars. For people who don't know, Tim Hortons is the big donut and coffee chain. It's like of the, Canada. the Dunkin' Donuts of Canada. Mm -hmm. Wait, let's just share one. Yeah. I only want a little bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is that one? Ooh, I smell that coffee. You know, I've been so curious to try out, like, Tim Hortons stuff. You know? I think it's good for, like, a granola bar. But I don't think of granola bars as being, like, the same thing as snack foods. Because they're, like, kind of healthy. I don't think this is actually healthy. But you know, it's not like, oh, like junk food. Maybe it's one of those things like you, you have this and it's coffee, so you kind of have this in, like for breakfast in the morning when you're ready to go to work or whatever. Maybe. Maybe that's the whole idea. You want to stay fit and healthy. 
but also get your coffee intake. It's it has okay. a good flavor, but it is still a granola bar, so it's just not going to be my favorite snack. Yeah. It's for all those, like, fitness nerds. Yeah. They love their stuff coated in milk <laughs> chocolate. It's decent. It's, it, I think it's decent. As a snack. This is Vachon May West. Kind of, kind of totes horns from May West right here. Look at her. She's like, ooh, ooh, chocolate. She's a sexy little muffin. I know. She's a sexy little M-I-L-F. Let's taste her what? treats. Why is it open? I don't know. Did you open it? What wait. is all this stuff? Oh, wait. What? Are these assorted snacks? What, what is, what's going on here? I think, Why do we have two? I think, are these the same as what we had before? No, because I think those are Mae West, which is this. Oh. And then these are, I guess, the vanilla. I don't know. Let's just share one of each. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do May West first. Explain to them why it was probably like this. Yeah, so we got these snacks from Best Canadian Snacks on Etsy. And he was really generous to help curate this box for us of my list that I got from my cousin Harley. But this box, he threw in some extra treats and we don't actually know what it is. What? But this is the May West. Don't know what this is, but we're going to... We're gonna try them both. Our mystery snack is after this one. Yeah, so it's not chocolate like the other one. It's not like a red velvet. How is this? It's so good. It's like a buttercream. Man, their cakes are so light and fluffy. Okay, that's good. So good. That's pretty okay. good. Let's Next. try our mystery snack. Uh, what's the brand on that? It just says Vachon May West. V-A-C-H-O-N. Because I got something here that kind of looks like could be. Oh. oh, that is it. That's the other one that I asked for. Oh, my goodness. So, the Luna Half Moon? Luna Half Moon. This is what it is. So Sarah asked for this. Yeah, she said, I, thought that, I thought that he wasn't going to have yeah, one. Yeah, and our guy delivered. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I think this is from his secret stash. Maybe. Bonus snack. Bonus snack. Oh my goodness. Wow. I like that they're like snack cakes that are cut in half because they're gigantic. It looks like it was like two big um, pancakes. Honestly, I prefer this over the chocolate because it's not too sweet. This is like an insanely delicious Twinkie. Mm -hmm. It is so good. I mean, I also really love the Mae West, though, so I'm not going to compare them to each other, but I feel like this tastes like a really good Twinkie without the... Sometimes Twinkies have a little bit of an artificial flavor to me, and it doesn't have it, and it's really, really good. It's really good. I'd say both are delicious, but the Luna Half Moon is... I'm going dangerous for both. Wow. <laughs> I love the snack cakes. They're so good. I love the light, fluffy ones. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Mae West and Luna Half Moon. Mm. Wow. Okay. Well, this, yeah. It was actually really, really good. And you know, I don't think I had such high expectations just because I didn't think it was going to be that different from the snacks that we have here because Canada is just our like, you know, friendly neighbor, not very far away at all. Also mostly speaks the same language. Yeah, but. Have good health care. Yeah, they've got better health care. <laughs> But um, I really love these snacks. I love that it was mostly sweet. Thanks for those suggestions, Harley. And uh, yeah, and our dude in Canada like yeah. came through. This was awesome. We're gonna put a link to his um, page, profile, whatever it is on Etsy. We're gonna put a link to it in the description below if you want to order some of these snacks. Yeah. My only thing was I wish there were a little bit more uh, salt in it, but <coughs> I think it was great. We hope to find more Canadian snacks. If you have any more suggestions, please let us know. We're going to sneak them in over the border. Steve is losing it. <laughs> is it the burp or is it the fact that he's rambling? <laughs> it's, uh, it's everything. <laughs> <laughs> and with all that said...
Take it away, friend. <laughs> Thanks for watching Salty and Sweet. Make sure to subscribe and kiss that like button. Ding the bell for notifications. <laughs>